Okay, there we go. All right, I can't wait anymore. That's it. There's too much lava flowing. Too much lavaly goodness to just let everyone sit and wait for another 15 minutes before I start the stream. So I'm starting it. <laughs> and uh, glad to have everyone on board. Welcome, everyone. And uh, it is a lavaly day. And uh, glad to have all of you here. And I know I'm starting 15, 17 minutes early here, whatever, 20 minutes early. It's okay. Um, I just, just couldn't wait anymore. <laughs> it looks too lavally to, uh, to miss, miss the day here. And uh, we have a really, really nice flow coming down from the mountain. And uh, it is uh, pretty awesome. So uh just starting out early here so for those who have joined just remember take a look up at the top of your chat box uh it'll tell you either top chat and or live chat if it says that you're all good that means you're watching the st uh, stream as it is going uh in the live mode if it happens to say top chat replay or live chat replay and the word replay being the keyword uh, that means the stream is no longer live. That means all those people in the chat box have gone home. They're eating their cookies. And um, you can still make comments, though, but you can't interact with them because they're not there. You can uh, put regular comments down below, just like any other video, though. So that should help you out. Anyway, um... Having said all that, welcome to my moderators. Uh, right now, I only see Arizona Snowman. Not sure where the other ones are hiding, but I'm sure they will be along shortly. And uh, that's all good as well. Uh, so, um, very good afternoon, Arizona Snowman. Piggy, if you're out there, uh, she may be having another power nap, which is okay too. She needs to heal up. That leg uh, is going to take some time to heal. And uh, Paul Zilla and... Uh, oh, there's Paul Zilla. Oh, uh, show starts early. And uh, I'm a tar target... What? Shopper? Shopping with my... Ah, you're a target. Well, Paul Zilla, buy us something nice. <laughs> uh, oh, you mean your wife is shopping at Target uh, while you're... Uh, yeah, are you out in the parking lot again? You're going to get caught yet. Uh, Sandy Bird, number 21. Hey, hello and welcome. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, Paul, we, we know how that works. Uh, she's doing the shopping. You pay for it. Uh, but you're out, uh, you're out in the parking lot on the phone again, aren't you? <laughs> oh... Anyway, uh, welcome to all of those wonderful people that have shown up here. And uh, I just want to go through some of them. And uh, I uh, give some name shout outs here. So we've got Kevin Haynes is back. Uh, Yvonne Kunkel is back. Welcome back, Yvonne. One fish, uh, one fish 26. Half of the cookies today go to him. And. Uh, <laughs> The other half will go to DJ, uh, since they came in so close together, I didn't know, I couldn't really decide, so I figured we'll, we'll give them both cookies um, as I was watching, and I, I just couldn't decide who was actually first, but uh, that's all good. Anyway, Rebecca Patterson also here, uh, Edith NZ, welcome from New Zealand. Uh, Sue Hayes, uh, welcome back. Uh, let's see, Jason Brooks here. Uh, Nancy Buchanan, oh mummy of hamsters. Uh, Shauna Rock, uh, welcome. And Sandy Bird also here. Adam Wood, uh, Adele is back. Uh, going up the list a little bit. Sharon Stewart, uh, Christopher is back. Uh, Mars 2028. Uh, also back in the house, uh, did I say Adam Wood? I think I might have. Uh, Douglas Anderson also here. Um, and uh, Let's see, Wessex Dragon. Oh, welcome back. I'm glad to have you on board. Grandma B also here. Uh, Shauna Rock, I don't know if I mentioned you already, but uh, welcome. 
Liz Markman Moiler also back in here. Uh, let's see. Sandra Rocklin, we got you. And uh, let's see. Rebecca Patterson. Sheila, is it Athe? I hope I pronounced it correctly. Uh, welcome. Uh, online Gamer back in here, as well as Joe Sunflower. And uh, let's see, Mary Martin, uh, pop back in. Krezo uh, Zakyak uh, from Croatia. Welcome. Uh, Scott uh, Hartman also back in here. And uh, let's see, who else we got? Sheila is back. Sherry Fisher is back. Sharon is back. And uh, let's see, going up a little bit more. Jason McDonald or Jay Mc. Uh, Donaldson, Jay Donaldson, sorry, I uh, got it wrong there, but, you know, you can't always be right. Uh, let's see, uh, who else? Um, going up, Judy L., welcome, uh, glad to have you back on board. And Echo the Bot, Echo the Bot, Echo the Bot. Echo, 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 Echo is here, Echo is here. <laughs> Oh, I gotta get I gotta get that echo thing working on on here. I had was messing around with the sound thing earlier. And, uh, apparently, there's a way to make that thing go echo, echo, echo. Uh, anyway, uh, going up the list some more, saying hi to everyone. And let's see, uh, going up a little more. Lucas Snow, of course, in the house, but he did not make it in early enough to get cookies this time. Uh, so uh, that's okay though uh, more for the other guys <laughs> uh, but we do appreciate Lucas uh, showing up that's uh, very kind of him uh, Janina also back in the house as well as uh, Anne Olink and uh, let's see who else popped in that I might have missed uh, going up real quick here I think most of the ones I see uh, we've gotten so, uh, yeah, well, I think we do. Uh, Don Bem, uh, welcome back. Uh, Cat Whisper, also back in the house. Uh, Eva Ross, or Ras, my apologies. Uh, glad to have you back. Okay, so uh, what about the crickets uh, that we hear? Do you hear crickets? I don't hear any crickets. Is I hear crickets here? <laughs> Uh, I missed them if, uh, if, uh, if that was the case. Uh, we don't hear any crickets. Uh, Getomo Saliba. I hope I said that right. Uh, Getano Saliba. Um, not sure if I pronounced it correctly, but welcome anyway. Uh, Aaron Horton also in the house, uh, as well as Adele... Aldelantando de Yucatan from Mexico, and uh, welcome. I'm uh, glad to have you on board. Uh, Satronix also in the house. Dr. No Name is back. Uh, Colin Dedman, I don't know if I mentioned you there. Uh, welcome, you guys. Uh, yes, long time ago. Yeah, you were here a long time ago. It's been a while, and uh, glad to have you back on a very lavely day. And um, it is beautiful here. So, uh, doing its thing. Um, our volcano is definitely doing its thing. And I actually want to kind of slow down a little bit and just let this stuff kind of flow that we're seeing here. And uh, that is a pretty awesome flow uh, that we are seeing. That material is actually coming off of... Uh, kind of the um, northern area, it's actually, the way that face is, it's actually facing northwest a little bit, but it is the, the eastern vent that started up last night that actually has uh, been spewing out a whole pile of lava. It flooded that top area behind the cone and uh, basically is forcing the lava to come out and this, of course, is flowing slightly to the north and then uh, doing a, a turn out towards the west. And uh, we will look at that a little bit. Um, it is unfortunately uh, coming out beyond the area that previously 
uh, was inundated by lava so this is all in a new area uh, which is unfortunate because we know that's going to end up um, destroying a few more buildings along the way and I hope everyone is out of the way of this stuff uh, because it is definitely flowing so uh, Ryan Cox made it back in a welcome and uh, let's see uh, who else did I miss here uh, D guess uh, welcome welcome back uh, Carrie Mary 53 also back in the chat uh, welcome and uh, let's see did I miss anyone else uh, just sneaking up here every time I look away somebody else sneaks in um, it happens you know it happens Zoe uh, welcome uh, didn't mean to miss you out on you there uh, glad to have you in the uh, the channel and let's see I think I got most of the other ones anyway I better get at getting those cookies out there uh, neat one welcome uh, glad to have you back Lava flow 500 meters uh, about at, okay, uh, Tajaya and, and the main road. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, it's not in a good place. Uh, Coke, no, we don't want Coke, we want cookies. Uh, so, uh, DJ and uh, one fish. Uh, here's a pile of cookies for you guys and uh, don't tell Lucas I did this <laughs> uh, and uh, and mods don't you complain about how many emojis I'm using uh, there we go okay so cookies uh, there we go we uh, I feel sorry for the people who lost their uh, homes or houses yeah, it is unfortunate that um, that does happen. Um, anyway, let's take a look around real quick uh, what it looks like on the other ones. So this is one of the other streams, of course, uh, showing the lava flow from slightly different angle. And you can see how it is progressing out front. And uh, it gets uh, on that westerly flow down towards the ocean and it turns a little bit again to the north and uh, this is what's bringing it out into a bad area for them and uh, hopefully um, things will uh, progressively get better uh, here's the other view that we were seeing so uh, we can probably get rid of those nice big banners at the top uh, where's that that's uh, this guy I think yeah so we'll get rid of that um, it is a pretty awesome shot though that we are seeing and uh, I'll get the, rid of the banner on this one as well uh, since we are well into it and since we are well into it um, I think this is one that we can probably go back on just a little ways here and uh, they just started this uh, particular uh, restream or uh, about uh, what is it um, I think uh, somewhere around uh, an hour ago so if we go to the other one from just before and uh, we have a look at it uh, it will kick in here somewhere and uh, we'll be able to go ahead a little bit and see what uh, they had um, they were trying to capture those um, uh, flows uh, during the day there it's a little bit tougher and uh, a long range shot cameras jiggling a little bit uh, but they were able to um, get what the flows look like which was pretty cool uh, pretty awesome shot so um, this is what's been going on quite a bit today um, but I didn't want to jump ahead that far yet um, too bad it's not molten gold oh man if that was molten gold I'd be I'd be there like a dirty shirt um, doing my things scooping up things so um, <laughs> honestly it would be really really cool uh, Sherry Hewitt also in the house as well as uh, Louise and Chuckster uh, welcome you guys uh, and uh, who else popped in we got Annie is in here as well and uh, I think we're good for now as far as names oh uh, Dr. Nolan uh, the, this 
thing is not slowing down a bit. No, actually, Dr. No Name, it, today it is, or since last night, since that next vent opened up in the back there, it, it's actually increased. Uh, the noise from last night is back. Okay, um, I'm seeing that there is noise. I'm going to try to kill noise. Okay, I killed one thing here. Uh, is that noise gone now? Um, I'm hoping it is. Um, where is the noise? Okay, colon. Colon, since you heard it, um, that worked. Okay, uh, all right, good. Yeah, it's something with one of them is, I don't know if it's reverbing uh, or something. So anyway, got rid of that one and hopefully, um, I'm not sure which one it is because again, I'm, I'm not hearing it. I don't uh, don't have the uh, the mic on or, or sorry, the headphones on. So, and I've got my volume turned right down and uh, that tries to, uh, uh, apparently tries to compete with me somehow. Uh, uh, in the background now, no, we just turned it off, Dr. No Name. It can't be in the background. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, hopefully uh, you're a little bit more up to speed there. Anyway, I wanted to go back a little bit further in uh, today's stream on that one um, to see what else we had there. So uh, this is about seven and a half hours ago or something like that, uh, right around there and uh, come on uh, and you see how much black material it was dumping out it was horrible for those poor people a lot of ash um, in addition to all that lava flowing a lot of ash uh, being dumped out again and uh, I feel sorry for those people there because that obviously is going to cause more issues breathing more issues uh, with having to remove stuff. Uh, hour earlier uh, was a little bit better. Uh, if we go back up another hour and uh, keep doing that, it got a little hazier and um, the weather wasn't quite as nice this morning. Um, and here they're showing a little bit further back, um, a little clearer there, but uh, it was still intermittent as far as the weather is concerned. Uh, so. Um, and then earlier, so that was roughly what we got three and a half hours ago. Um, again, we were seeing a lot of uh, smoke coming up. Uh, if we back up uh, another uh, bit here, another half hour or so hour, and uh, was a little bit better, but again, you still see the amount of off gassing and uh, that material coming out. Um, it's, it'd be horrible if you're uh, living there. So, And that brings us back to uh, a little bit earlier in the morning. And uh, I'm going to go just back up a little bit more and see what's going on. Anyway, wanted to talk about where the lava was flowing last night. And I do believe I may have it captured on this one here. Um, they did have it showing... Uh, let me see if I can find it uh, in the right spot. Or was this just the plume? Uh, this might have just been the plume when they were showing it. Yeah, this may just be the plume. Okay, so uh, let's back up a little bit. It should have been in here. Yeah, well, I think I had it just about right on the money there. Anyway, it was uh, dark, very dark to see uh, where that is. Yeah. Okay, right there. Let's get it playing right there. And get ahead a little bit more till we get to see the lava. Uh, we'll go another minute. There we go. Okay, so um, looking at that lava flow, now I know it's dark. You guys probably can't see where that's actually flowing. I will show you on the map though. So uh, if you're looking at your uh, La Palma 3D uh, maps. The maps have not been updated yet uh, for this particular lava flow from last night. And uh, if we pop over onto the 3D map, and uh, there's my whoop, uh, 3D map, and of course my crayons are working on it. Um, I want to uh, zoom in on that real quick for you. And uh, here it is. Okay, so if we zoom in a little bit, 
and uh, I don't want to get too close here but uh, this is uh, Mount Todoki and uh, you see this little uh, push here of uh, lava that we seen uh, let's get rid of this thing uh, so the lava that lava we were just looking at is flowing in this direction and uh, so far it is behind these houses there's some kind of a dip in between here um, but I am a hundred percent sure that as it progresses it's going to cause more damage uh, so that lava yeah it's flowing down here and I'm sure it's going to get into that area so um, that kind of gives you an idea this is Mount La Laguna and this is Mount uh, Todoki and uh, this is where that new flow that we were just watching uh, was so if we get back to that uh, right there that kind of shows you as it's coming around the edge of the hill and uh, heading around uh, around the hill down the little slope so we've got more damage happening there and uh, that was uh, from last night or during the night so um, we're definitely uh, seeing a little bit more of that material um, coming around now uh, let me see if I can get it back to ones that I want to be on here for right now let's put it back to here right now um, you still see a tremendous amount of lava pouring out of there and this is a lot more than what we've had before and uh, I did have some of the uh, video uh, captured from earlier that I want to share with you uh, some of the uh, uh, aerial footage as well as uh, what's been happening with that vent on the backside uh, so that's kind of in the northeastern corner of the backside there where you can see uh, where it's coming out uh, let me see if I got the whiteboard in the right place here uh, no uh, there we go so this uh, this vent right there and uh, that's causing all the lava flow and uh, it's turned into a fairly large vent so uh, interesting to see that and uh, I think it is pretty awesome so uh, oh they're changing things uh, they're showing the forefront of the lava movement and uh, in that shot right there you can see uh, actually it's good that they're bringing that up because that uh, shows you how much to the north it's actually flowing and uh, it gives you a lot better idea of um, what's going on and um, actually since they're doing that I'm wanting to go back a little bit further on this uh, that screen they did have some nice shots in here earlier today and I thought maybe we'll enjoy those so um, this is what they were showing so they they show the the forefront of of the lava wall moving down the hill and uh, of course in that that's in that insert picture and uh, you can bet your booties that the uh, uh, this building here uh, gets destroyed um, by looking at the size of that wall of lava that is coming down so um, it is pretty harsh pretty crude but it's going to happen the lava flow threatening to cut off uh, LP2 highway and LP3 which are the main arteries linking um, east and west parts of La Palma um, yes and that's probably what's going to happen there partially um, or Paisley sorry um, and uh, hope uh, hope it's all good uh, and uh, that it doesn't uh, let's see if we move that a little bit further they had some other shots here that I wanted to kind of look at it was a little bit more intense uh, when we moved it up you can see it a little bit better as the uh, the lighting changed slightly but uh, um, yeah they did zoom in on some of it here actually we can probably yeah we'll just move it a little bit there you go that's actually a pretty good shot and you can see how much of an angle that this material is actually coming down on and uh, you can see where it is flowing right and um, we're hoping that uh, that it doesn't flow uh, that it continues in that direction that it doesn't flow this way um, this is what we're hoping doesn't happen because if it does 
then it starts coming down the streets here in the front and uh, this is not a good thing okay so that will definitely impede traffic uh, and uh, cause more issues for the good folks there on La Palma so um, yeah it is one of those things anyway we wanted to move ahead a little bit more here and uh, yeah I think they got back to the uh, volcano there uh, anyway um, it looked pretty good I just thought we'd share that just for a minute there's a better shot of that and uh, you can see how tall that law wall of lava actually is and it, it's like a cliff of lava coming at you like really seriously when you you look at this in here and it's too bad we don't have a person as a, a scale um, but uh, I'm looking at that that's probably you know probably 30 meters in height and I'm I'm guessing but I'm I'm thinking that's what it is and you know if, if you have a hundred foot tall wall of lava coming at you you're gonna think twice about things uh, a person for scale would be on fire yeah yeah we'd probably burn them out it's uh, <laughs> I, I I don't know if there's any volunteers uh, that house is uh, uh, gone in the morning yeah um, yeah the, the one over here is gone uh, for sure and uh, I don't know if uh, um, that other one well uh, they changed pictures on us I don't know if that other one is going to be gone pretty sh uh, quick as well this guy here that's some kind of a mill or something I don't know what it is but uh, uh, guaranteed to uh, suffer the consequences so um, <laughs> and then of course we we move on we get back to the lavalley flow and uh, they did have the picture in a picture for a little while they're showing what it looked like um, from the two different angles which is pretty awesome pretty cool anyway uh, since we are going and doing our thing I did want to uh, go over and uh, look at some aerial shots and uh, uh, this was actually this is not well it's an aerial shot but it, it was just a, a photo I just thought I'd share that with you guys that one was sent in to me so I thought I would throw that up there and uh, next of course is this guy and uh, this is already uh, a little bit uh, I think this is the day before okay um, the day before that extra vent opened up in the back end and uh, I think the uh, the vent if I'm not mistaken is uh, one of the holes in the back oh, where's my whiteboard copy move and paste and uh, I do believe it's this guy here uh, that opened up and uh, did its thing so the one that's smoking all that white smoke and uh, I thought this was kind of neat to see um, are we getting a lot of background noise again guys or is it uh, quiet um, because we shouldn't have any noise on that one uh, let me see if uh, that had noise we can kill that speaker okay hopefully that's better yeah all right I killed that one as well uh, okay a lot of noise all right I killed it sound is okay now yes all right so uh, that one was interesting let's have another look and uh, this one is a little bit longer of a video uh, sound is off on it already and uh, this just kind of shows you some of the flows now this was from yesterday and uh, the area remember we talked about that was it right there where the lava flow was and uh, so it's gone down in that direction along the side of Mount Todoki and uh, we probably will see uh, these uh, these guys in here all get uh, crunched up eventually if this thing keeps going I'm sure this uh, this little high spot here is going to get filled up as well so uh, noisy again okay uh, why is it noisy my apologies for the noise but um, why is hang on, that's not supposed to be noisy uh, noisy why is it there we go okay 
I don't know how it gets that noise. I gotta figure that out yet. It's weird. Something is causing it. It's like a static. Okay, I'll figure it out. Thanks, DS. Uh, Steam, Dr. Fox, is the Canary Islands a hot spot uh, having any underwater volcanoes uh, potentially uh, creating new islands? Um, right now, none that I know of, uh, Steen. Um, the, uh, the island to the south um, uh, would be the one that would be the one that may go next. Uh, but I think the hot spot is really sitting underneath La Palma. But uh, it's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, this was uh, from yesterday. So it is all, uh, you know, you can see the, uh, the flows and uh, see them fairly well where they've gone. Uh, that is the most northern area there uh, that you see uh, where it's flowed. And uh, uh, thankfully, whoop, uh, it has not gone out beyond that. Uh, why did that whiteboard not work? Uh, paste, let's try that again. So yeah, this is the northern area here. So north is in uh, that direction. And uh, now we're pointing more eastward again, uh, heading back towards the uh, the volcano a bit with this. Uh, no, no tsunami. Uh, end of it. Yeah, there's not going to be a tsunami. Who's asking about tsunamis? We're not going to have any tsunamis in here. Um, okay, that's uh, the chances of a tsunami are so slim that you're better off to buy a lottery ticket. Okay and you'll probably win two dollars before uh, and uh, it is what it is uh, okay what happened to barbarian uh, everybody's saying good barbarian good news uh, I missed what he what he had good news about I guess I'm gonna have to go look uh, see if I can find him uh, don't see him oh, oh that is good news uh, yeah, his dad is out of the hospital, and that is excellent news. Uh, glad to hear that. So, uh, anyone else see occasional buffering? Um, no, no, I don't see any buffering at all. I'm sending up proper rates here. <laughs> uh, consult your ISP if you're in, uh, getting buffering. Uh, anyhow, uh, one of the things I did want to mention uh, in this video, you can probably see that the ground looks a little bit more green. And uh, if you hadn't noticed that, I certainly did. Um, the rain they got definitely washed a lot of the ash off of the uh, trees and some of the grasses and so on. And uh, it's all good that uh, that actually happened. So we're happy... Uh, some of those plants got a little bit more moisture, uh, which will definitely be an asset for them. Things will uh, continue to grow even in the, uh, the ash zone. So it is um, really, really good. Uh, well, uh, the Mediterranean Sea got uh, a few dangerous underwater volcanoes. Yes, the Mediterranean definitely does. Um, we definitely have a few uh, under the water there. Uh, and here we're over on the, uh, the southern side of things uh, where you can see the, uh, the older volcano there and how uh, everything kind of skirted around the outside. And uh, I guess the safest place there would have been in that crater. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, you get filled up with ash. Uh, but anyhow, it does... Um, does show you in this video what it was looking like and I thought I'd uh, let this whole thing run it's actually about 12 minutes long so um, it is a good show it does uh, give you a little bit more of a visual perspective of uh, where everything is so uh, always helps to be able to see it from the air and see what's going on there so um, I really really do like that um, let's see what else and it's amazing some of the areas you know you, you look at them and you go well that doesn't even look like it's ever been touched by anything um, 
I'm not sure what that field in front of us is about. Looks like it's got a bunch of sensors or something. Maybe it was grapevines, fencing for grapevines, um, just right down below us there. So, uh, lots of flows though, and um, hopefully things will uh, not be so bad for those people on this side, on the southern side. But uh, we definitely know it's causing a little bit more problem on the northern side because that's where most of that lava is flowing now. And uh, I think this video is just about done. So we will start the, uh, the next one. Um, there they're looking to the north a little bit. You can see the, um, the lava streams. Um, pretty cool. And uh, let's get into it on the next video. So... Uh, this one was a little bit similar to that uh, other one I had, uh, but this shows you that back uh, cone a whole bunch better. And uh, let's see if we can get uh, our whiteboard wherever it is here. Holy mackerel, I got uh, too many things in here. Yeah, don't, oh, there's my whiteboard. Okay, so uh, this cone right here, or this uh, vent, it's actually dual vents is what it is and uh, oh, um, got away from it so um, that's what's actually putting out all this lava here and this was at the earlier stages when it was pouring out and uh, you can see it, it is definitely starting to build up this was uh, just down from the hill um, are we getting static again oh, boy let me get to it Thank you for letting me know. And uh, there, that should kill it. Uh, hopefully that did. And uh, that new vent or an existing vent. It's actually a new vent that opened up. Uh, the existing ones were sitting behind it. Uh, we'll switch back to it in, in this view here. Just give it a second. It'll switch back there and uh, it will show you that again. And uh, okay, so... Um, there you go. That's actually the, the start of the video, but, uh, whoop, uh, why is the whiteboard not working? Okay. Whiteboard. So, um, that is new. The old one is sitting behind it there. And, uh, this was existing on this side. So this is the new one. And then we got an old one there and we got an old one here. Okay. So, uh, if we go to the next video though, um, it will kind of show you uh, that as well, I do believe. Uh, we'll clear that off and uh, click on the, the button and click on that one. And we will uh, right click it and get rid of the noise right away since it turned it on there. Okay, so uh, this is very similar looking. Um, it's just they went back up there, but I wanted to point this out. Whoa. Uh, Hang on, that didn't work. Come on, go back. Uh, darn it, I have to hit that thing again. Okay. Anyway, this was just a little bit later than this one, but uh, the area that I was gonna try to point out was what was uh, pouring out of there. And maybe I didn't get it captured well enough on this video. Um, let me see if I can find the next one. Um, this may not be it either. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one does show you that. And uh, at least I don't have noise on this one. This is uh, when they were coming in from a lot further out. Um, and you can see, there you go. That's what I was hoping for. So this is what's giving us that new lava flow down the hill. And uh, this is the old one right beside it. This one over here, this was pre-existing. So this was here, this was here, uh, but that other one in the middle is a new vent. So um, it opened up and did its thing. This is at the beginning stages where you can see that lava flowing down the hill. And of course, it really did protrude quite a bit. And it also uh, overflowed on this side. So we had double streams coming down and uh, we'll clear that out. You can see how it is building up. And uh, yeah, this is just uh, in the early stages. So you can see that right there. And that did pour over and through as well. 
So it looked really, really lavally, really, really cool. And um, it's uh, pretty awesome, pretty awesome. So uh, love what we're seeing today and uh, just hope that it is going to behave and not get into too many uh, more buildings and uh, that we stay away from that type of destruction. And uh, I think for right now, that's all the videos I've got uh, on the latest stuff. So we'll put it back to our uh, fire fountain and its multiple vents and the lava flowing down. And uh, while that is happening, I will try to rearrange my other uh, uh, ones here. So I'm actually on the proper uh, places here. Okay, yeah, this one. Um, so if we go back over here, you can see how that lava is flowing down. And remember the one that I said was just going to go over, that is this one on the other side. So we had the double whammy here and uh, we had this guy here as well. So a lot of lava moving and uh, it is pretty awesome. Good night, Dina. Uh, welcome. Uh, glad to have you on board. Um, this is one, uh, yeah, is this one live? Yes, this is live right now. Um, so this is live, uh, this is live, and uh, the other one here, this is live as well. Uh, matter of fact, this one, you can really kind of see the, the lava flow uh, streaming down the hill. It's pretty awesome if you're just watching it. Um, look deep into the lava and listen to my voice. Look deep into the lava and listen to my voice. You are getting hypnotized. It's it's live. It's not Memorex. <laughs> oh, I love it. Anyway, this one is live too. Um, although it's harder to tell uh, in the colors, but if you look down here, you can actually see the flow and uh, it looks pretty uh, pretty awesome if you're watching it um, as it's moving along. And I know this is hard harder to see the flow in here uh, and in these guys um, because of the uh, the color of the, um, the that they've got their setting on the color setting in the camera. It's a little little tougher. Uh, could be a little yellower and uh, that would help out a bit. Uh, this volcano looks insane today. Uh, it's so active. Uh, I think the volcano uh, boffins were uh, in uh, wrong deep, uh, not looking uh, as if it was going to stop any time soon. Uh, someone, uh, what? It's an awesome lava flow. Absolutely, it is. And it is pouring like crazy. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. Anyway. <clears throat> Uh, since I did start a few minutes early, you guys, I am going to take a, a, a break pretty quick here. And uh, we do want to kind of keep my voice from uh, blowing out. Um, I'm not sure which one I want to leave it on or if I want to leave it. Um, maybe I'll just leave it right here. Um, how about that? Can we leave it there? That'll give you a good enough shot, I think. Okay, I'm going to think about leaving it there on the multi-screen. You can definitely see that lava flowing down the hill uh, on, uh, on all, all three of them. And then, of course, the observatory camera uh, showing you a pretty good shot. Oh, oh, we got some technical glitches. Somebody's got a loose connection there on the uh, camera three. Uh, I think that is... Uh, oh, which one is it? Uh, it's being overheated, maybe. Um, <laughs> I, I think that's uh, La Palma TV, if I'm not mistaken. That's got that issue. But I'm sure they'll figure it out or straighten it out. Anyway, for those people who have joined in, and if you are enjoying the lava flow, by all means, uh, please hit that like button. I see only about half of you have done that. Uh, hopefully we will get the analytics up as with the uh, the numbers here uh, really really quickly and uh, three miles away from home Paul Zilla no worries uh, drive safely 
Uh, Nancy Buchanan uh, at Piggy is back. Piggy is back. Piggy is here. I'm not uh, doing a bad. Okay. Anyway, I, there's a bunch more people I wanted to say hi to before I go on my break. So we got uh, Victoria Nissen. Uh, welcome. Uh, we got Talana uh, St. Germain. Welcome. We got uh, Rachi Rack is back. And uh, let's see who else uh, popped in. We got uh, Linda Shroof is here. Echo the Bot, of course, we got Ryan Cox, we got already. Tom Caruso is back as well. And uh, going up here, there was a few more in here that I wanted to say. Cookster is back. Welcome, Cookster. Long time no see. Uh, William Bull also back in here. Raymond Bensler. Uh, welcome, all you good guys. Uh, Dominique uh, back as well um, and we got Steen already so welcome uh, Stuart Painter uh, is this connected to La Palma Fault um, is it connected to the La Palma Fault no it's um, um, I don't think it's so much of a, a fault issue it's uh, more of a um, hot spot that's sitting underneath La Palma and um, that's what's creating the volcano uh, going up a little bit more Leo Carlson back in the house Jane Bench also here Dodgers back um, let's see did I miss anyone else uh, Robert Booten oh, welcome uh, Robert Freire also here Richard uh, Parkin uh, welcome Tina Sassy and Y.O. John. I think I got most of you now. Raymond uh, and Ryan and uh, Lisa P. Frampton also here. Eva is here. So if I didn't call your name out, don't panic. Uh, Dina is also here from Deutschland. <laughs> uh, Judy McClelland also made it back in and uh, I think we're good with names. Oh, Anita Assad and uh, DS uh, Kushan. And uh, I think that's good for right now. So uh, glad to have all you uh, wonderful people on board. And uh, um, just a quick thing. If you haven't hit the like button yet and you do enjoy what you're seeing, please uh, consider hitting that like. It really does help out. And for those who have not yet subscribed, um, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button and uh, also the bell notification. That way you won't miss any uh, future streams. Uh, wow, it's really fountaining. And it is. Uh, it is a fire fountain. Um, and uh, doing its thing. Uh, Janice, uh, welcome back. Uh, no, no worry about being so, or don't be sorry about being a few minutes late. As long as you get here, you get in and uh, keep smiling. That's uh, the, uh, the main thing. Susie Heath also in the channel, as well as Teresa is back. Uh, welcome. Anyhow, um, I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, located here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, a long, long ways away from that volcano. And uh, that, of course, is Cumbre Vieja, uh, located uh, on La Palma in the Canary Islands and uh, hopefully um, it is not going to destroy too many more homes and things like that but looking at that lava flow um, we're probably going to lose a few more uh, in the next couple of days here so uh, anyway hit that like button you guys uh, because of that wonderful lava and then uh, I am going to go for a quick break I will be back in five minutes keep smiling don't go wandering in the lava streams okay they really really hurt trust me i would know i've been close to one well kind of closer than most <laughs> okay i'm gonna take that break don't go away keep smiling i will be back
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've got the microphone back on. I hope I didn't come back too loudly there. Uh, welcome, everyone. And for those people who are just joining us in the stream, uh, I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, and uh, I am located here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And uh, of course, we are watching Cumbre Vieja Volcano in La Palma on the Canary Islands. And uh, right now we are seeing a wonderful lava flow that is coming down uh, from uh, Cumbre Vieja and flowing on the north side of the, uh, the scene, if you will. And uh, it is continuing to uh, do its flow. Uh, we do have several different angles that we get to choose from tonight as far as um, being able to have different views. Um, one of the things I did want to kind of point out here uh, before, uh, is uh, something, I don't know if, if it happens to any of you others, but uh, when I've been looking at these vents and this picture on the screen right now, you see the little insert on the top right hand side there. Um, when you see that going across there, if you're not looking at it 100% directly and all of a sudden you you glance over at it it almost looks like the ground in the forefront is moving but it's not ground it's actually smoke and uh, it is a little bit of an optical illusion and it gives you a sense of that that whole vent is tipping but it's not <laughs> anyway uh, speaking of vents though uh, man is this thing uh, doing its thing and uh, it is a wonderful job I see a few more people popped in. Ez is in the house. Uh, welcome, Ez, as well as Oz. Oz is back as well. And uh, we got Linda Schuff earlier, and I seen there was a couple of others. Uh, someone was mentioning that it is a very friendly chat, and uh, it is indeed. And uh, I believe that was... Uh, Suzanne uh, Gunter, uh, welcome and uh, glad that you are enjoying uh, being in here. And yeah, please uh, feel free to speak up and, and join in. Um, none of our good people bite. Um, we're all reasonable people, uh, except for that Kim Roudenbush. If you happen to see his name, uh, uh, block him right away. <laughs> I'm kidding. Kim's a not bad guy, too. Ah, uh, let's see. <laughs> Henrietta is also back in the house. Uh, welcome, Henrietta. Glad to have you here. Uh, George uh, Couteau also made back. No volcano in uh, Porta yet. Uh, that's probably a good thing, uh, George. <laughs> uh, Tom Caruso, not sure if I mentioned your name earlier. Glad to have you here, though. Uh, Cat Whisper, I, uh, I think we got you earlier. So... Um, glad to have all you good people here. Uh, oh, Mark La Barbecue came as well, as well as uh, uh, Reptilus. Uh, so much material going down the hill. Uh, back in the beginning of the eruption, experts were estimating um, 20 million uh, cubic meters. Uh, as of now, 20 times uh, more has been. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, rep reptilos uh, yeah you're you're uh, right it's uh, it's astronomical uh, at birding hi from Austria oh, welcome I'm glad to have you back on board and uh, um, at, at least I think it's uh, I you've been here before I at least I've seen your name before uh, Mona Alfano also here um, Okay, what, I think uh, Piggy only bites banana puss in Arizona? No, she she bit me in the leg too, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, okay, um, anyway, yeah, that is, is an awesome, awesome view and uh, a lot of material coming out. And again, a uh, gentle reminder is, is keep an area or an eye on that area where we have all that dark material popping out because there you will likely see uh, volcanic lightning as well. Um, because you do have, um, uh, what is it, at least two or three vents up top here. Then you have uh, this guy in the back that's growing like crazy. So 
Um, that's kind of what we're looking at, and uh, it is uh, pretty uh, cool to, to see. Anyway, uh, popping over to some maps here real quick. And uh, just want to uh, oh, uh, click on, uh, don't do that. Click on the right one. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, this was what they had uh, updated, but obviously right now they, uh, they have not added a new vent in the top. And uh, that is something I'm not sure where that new vent is, if or if it's uh, if it's right around here somewhere is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, uh, it should be if we're looking at the way the other ones are situated. So uh, that vent would be on the back of the hill right around here, and uh, it's uh, pretty cool. Anyway, this is one of the 3D maps you guys can uh, uh, have a look at and. Uh, enjoy yourselves uh, by typing in La Palma 3D and uh, that gives you the link for these 3D maps and uh, as I mentioned earlier this uh, down here has now got lava in it as well and that was um, flowing last night and I think they they missed some of it uh, so definitely uh, some of that burnt they did get this area here remember I was saying there was being filled up and uh, this is what we were watching the fires uh, that we had um, that's what was uh, burning right there so gives you a pretty good idea of uh, what that one looked like if we go to this one that does show the uh, the lava flows and uh, where everything was flowing uh, although they did not update it and get uh, this side although you do see uh, right here the uh, the fresh uh, lava and that definitely pushed down and uh, is going this way now. So um, kind of gives you a little bit more of an idea of uh, where the flows are. And uh, I do believe it is day 70 uh, today. So um, uh, at least that's, I think that's day 70. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is it day 70 or 71? Um, not 100% sure here. So. Uh, anyway, 70 odd uh, day, amazing. Okay, 70, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, let's pop over to uh, this map. They didn't do any uh, major updating on it. I'll let it play through anyway. You guys can have a look and see. Um, of course, the uh, dates on the bottom uh, in the slider indicate um, where the lava was flowing on what day. And you can see how it expanded and continues to fill in the... Uh, the voids and the dead areas and uh, of course uh, in the end you you see what the the whole area looks like there you go that's what's covered in lava right now actually a little bit more now since uh, this was uh, updated I believe um, when was it yeah uh, sometime this morning so they missed some of it uh, and they were using yesterday's data so it does give you a, a pretty good idea, though, of um, where pretty much all of it has gone. Anyhow, let's uh, pop back over to the volcano. It is still flowing smoothly and nicely. Um, they are still showing that lava moving down the hill uh, on the northern side. And uh, unfortunately, uh, and let's pop back over to uh, our uh, map here. And uh, when we're looking at the northern sides, um, it's up in this area that it is now coming down. So um, this is where things are going to be affected a little bit more. And uh, I do believe it's somewhere in uh, these, these areas here are going to be affected by it. So it's unfortunate, but um, that's what's happening. And... Uh, I'm hoping that it's going to cut back in and uh, continue in the lava flow rather than in the newer area. So that's kind of what we're we're looking at there. And um, yeah, the other ones here, pretty awesome show no matter what you do uh, looking at this. And uh, it is uh, pretty cool to see those rivers of lava just pouring down the hills right so um, awesome awesome stuff anyway uh, we wanted to take a look at earthquakes I did not refresh that one actually let me uh, 
put it back here for right now leave it on there while I refresh that one real quick for you guys um, I didn't refresh it in the last little while here but uh, we did have one earthquake that was over four and uh, unfortunately it didn't uh, accumulate uh, to too much as far as I could tell and uh, while I'm doing that one I'm going to reload the other one right away as well uh, that way, uh, when I get over to it, we'll be ready for it. So, uh, I'll hit 24 hours on that so it doesn't load all multiple days. Okay, so uh, getting over to this map, we'll zoom in. Uh, I still want to point out that we had the one uh, earthquake out here, 3.3, on the 25th. And uh, basically, out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, anyway... Um, our cluster of earthquakes continues and uh, we are seeing new ones here at 21 uh, 24 we had a, a 3.5 11 uh, kilometers down and then we're looking at the other ones 33 uh, 13 uh, 14 14 you know on these uh, 3.3 3.4s uh, and here is the uh, the 4.3 I was mentioning and that is 33 kilometers down and uh, doing its thing. Uh, the other ones, uh, 3.4s, are about the uh, the biggest that you see there uh, as we go back in time. But we did have a lot more of them again. And uh, there is a considerable increase in the amount of earthquakes today. Uh, so that is kind of weird um, that all of a sudden we're getting so many. And uh, I did not do a count, uh, but I do believe the first one is here, this 2.4, and then everything from that 2.4 onward is uh, is today's. So that's quite a few uh, earthquakes in the last uh, 24 hours. And uh, let's uh, pop over to the other map, uh, that is this guy, and uh, this will show it a little bit better for us here. If we uh, zoom in, I'm going to zoom in one more shot here. And uh, that's 24 hours. That's got everything. So I'm going to click on the 4 plus. So anything greater than 4 magnitude. And uh, it shows here 2 hours and 14 minutes ago. 4.3 in magnitude. Uh, this thing is 33 kilometers down. So that's what that was showing. And uh, it is pretty awesome to see that. If we add the uh, threes, so up. Uh, 3.0 magnitude or higher we see we do have quite a few in there uh, a lot more than what we did yesterday uh, here's uh, another one uh, 3.0 29 kilometers down uh, this is 33 kilometers down a 3.3 and um, just kind of looking at the, the depths 3.3 uh, 40 kilometers down so we different uh, or varying uh, depths uh, 15 kilometers on that 3.3 and uh, again 10 kilometers on here you know so we got different uh, different values um, so all playgrounds are kind of being uh, used there the one uh, what I refer to as playgrounds or magma chambers uh, way down at the uh, the bottom and way at the top uh, you know uh, what we have uh, from 40 to 35 kilometers down and then somewhere uh, from about 15 to 10 kilometers down is the uh, the second playground zone but we seem to have stuff uh, developing in the middle as well and uh, it kind of makes you wonder what uh, what's going on uh, the plumbing is definitely being rearranged uh, on the way up the pipes there somehow so um, that is always something to um, you know watch as uh, time progresses you know this one is 46 kilometers down that's quite a ways um, Anyway, gives you the idea of what it looks like there. Uh, three point, uh, the threes, and if we add the twos, uh, so now you've got uh, a fair amount of uh, earthquakes again for today in the last 24 hours anyway, so that looks pretty awesome. Anyhow, uh, let's uh, get back to a volcano here and see if we still have things flowing. Uh, yeah, lava is still moving forward, burning out more things. And uh, the area, of course, that we worry about is out front here. 
uh, on the bottom there's homes and things like that so um, 7.5 quake uh, today uh, in uh, uh, South Africa uh, in pure okay pure in South Africa we'll have a look um, anyway oh they changed the picture on me <laughs> how'd that happen uh, okay anyway I guess they're changing things um, now uh, we're still before the break I did want to go to the Iceland after the break but I want to also go to Iceland before the break and uh, I have a reason for it and uh, well and that wasn't the reason that's Iceland that's what we're seeing right now um, if we go back a whole bunch in time um, what do we see we see we see more gray so yeah Iceland wasn't very good visibility today at all and um, that's what we got but that's not what I wanted to show you um, all right hold on to your socks and this one does have audio with it and uh, yeah that is Iceland uh, actually that that's Iceland at uh, 10.05 a.m. <laughs> Paul and uh, that's not what I want you to look at though it's this clip coming up here this is uh, somebody was flying over Ragnar just as this happened so have a look at this Okay, I will play that again just so you can see it. That happened at Ragnar. So, um, when we have people say that, oh, the volcano cooled off, I call BS. <laughs> you look at that hot lava inside there. Uh, so, one more time, just so we uh, don't uh, miss it. But. That bit that fell down is about the size, uh, yeah, about the size of a three-story building that fell into there. So, um, yeah, that was pretty awesome. Uh, maybe I'll play it just once more. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, so that gives you a pretty good idea of what went on. Uh, anyway, um, we did see on the earthquake map, um, we will get to it right away. I want to refresh this real fast. and um, So we have the latest. Uh, we are on an upward swing uh, as far as what we can see here. Uh, so um, not sure. I don't think it's going to be doing anything, but... We do see the uh, the patterns going back up, which is okay. And uh, if we move on to the earthquakes, and uh, I'm going to try to go through those uh, fairly quickly here uh, before the break. And uh, as soon as I find my earthquake map, there it is. Uh, that one. All right. Uh, so. Starting out in the north, we did have um, some more activity out here in the water. Stuff uh, from today, 1.6, 14 kilometers down at 11.07 a.m. Uh, and there's other ones right beside it. Uh, again, uh, 9.23 a.m., 1.9, uh, 15 kilometers down. And if we hit uh, the other one beside it here, uh, that was 2.2, uh, 5.52 a.m., 16 kilometers down. Uh, and we have a bunch of little ones in the swarm there as well. Uh, here again, we've got stuff from yesterday as well as today. And uh, a little swarm, 1.2, 10 clicks down. And uh, if we go on some of these other ones here, 1.1, 1 .1, 8 kilometers down. Uh, just gives you an idea that there is still activity happening on the northern end of uh, the ridge. And that's kind of right on the ridge, if you will, if we uh, zoom out. Um, you know, it's basically 
it, it, well, it looks more like it's on the Eurasian side rather than the North American side, but still uh, very close to the, uh, the break there, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and again, we click in on some of these. Uh, again, 0 0.6, 10 kilometers down, 10, 10 a.m. And uh, we get into these other ones, uh, 647 a.m., 11 kil kilometers down, 1.1 magnitude. And there's a couple other little ones underneath there. So uh, kind of gives you the idea of what's going on there. Uh, we'll move into uh, this area real fast. I see uh, one spot uh, there, 1.38 kilometers down, 9.51 a.m. And uh, really nothing else uh, uh, new there. We see everything else that's older. Um, this is Ascha, so a volcano called Ascha. And uh, we only see uh, a couple of little orangey spots. This is 0.3, four kilometers down from today at 12.33 uh, this afternoon. And then we have another little spot. I think that's from yesterday. It is two, a 0.2, five kilometers down. So uh, really nothing new here. These two were older ones already. So uh, anyway, uh, sliding over into our other area. This was, I believe, uh, from yesterday. Yeah, it is two. Uh, so um, we're not even gonna look at those here. Um, and of course, uh, Grimms, uh, Grimms Vatten is the one that everybody is always wondering about. And that volcano sits right here somewhere, if I, or maybe the whole thing here. Not sure uh, exactly what it is, but uh, um, we haven't seen anything new here. These were little ones from uh, uh, yesterday, 0.3, uh, two clicks down. Uh, what is this one? Is uh, po uh, 0.4. Uh, doesn't even give a depth, uh, so uh, must have been fairly close to the surface. 0.5 kilometers, uh, uh, sorry, five kilometers down, 0.9 magnitude, and uh, again from yesterday. So um, nothing uh, uh, happening there, I don't think. So we're probably not going to see. Uh, uh, we do know uh, when the Ragnar collapse was filmed. Uh, it was sometime today, Alpine. Uh, sometime uh, early uh, earlier today um, is uh, from what I understood uh, it may have even been yesterday I don't know because the uh, the person that sent sent that to me uh, that was actually on uh, off of Twitter and uh, it was tweeted today and uh, I'm not sure if that was actually from yesterday but I thought I seen something in the earthquakes uh, that indicate that it may have been uh, from today. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, I'm going to hit that button here so we can keep going down. All right, so uh, this is our other one that we're kind of potentially keeping an eye on. This is Hecla, and uh, we see everything else in this area is uh, at least three, two or three days old, uh, 2.1 uh, from uh, yesterday. Uh, the rest of them are all basically the same orange color. So that's all older material there. We don't see nothing new in that swarm. Uh, so it's taken a day's break. And uh, we'll get over here on the Rikens Peninsula. And uh, just before we get too far, just to give you the lay of the land, uh, this is Reykjavik, the capital city. And uh, if we zoom in a little bit more and actually show streets and stuff there. There we go. See? Uh, so that's Reykjavik, and uh, uh, this is Kevlovik, the airport, and then uh, you've got uh, the other uh, little towns around it here, and uh, it gives you a pretty good idea uh, what, it, uh, what it's like there, but that's the airport. So the lights that we've seen at night, uh, we're, we're seeing these, uh, these front row and some of the airport lights when we're seeing that night shot. Um, uh, before we get into our area here uh, and the Rikens Peninsula, I just wanted to check out here in the water and see if there's anything else that pop. Uh, this looks fairly new and it is a 1.89 kilometers down, 9.25 a.m. And uh, we will go into uh, some of the other stuff. We see this swarm is basically dissipated and uh, is no longer uh, doing uh, any kind of a real threat. It's older material now. Um, this is the uh, town of uh, Grindavik, 
and uh, it is right there and this is the Blue Lagoon and the power station sits right about here so that gives you an idea of where you are there I see a little speck here gonna check that one happened today 10.02 a.m. Uh, point eight uh, in magnitude six kilometers down uh, just so we know there is a little bit of activity underneath there anyway uh, we follow the highway and uh, hey what's this spot here let's have a look at this spot uh, and this is a point uh, point five five kilometers down that was from yesterday um, I don't think we've seen that but uh, uh, what interests me are uh, these ones up here but also uh, remember we seen that collapse so this is the tell telltale sign so I bet you I bet you that was from yesterday that video and uh, because that's uh, what it's indicating 10 kilometers down 0.9 magnitude and uh, 1025 a.m. so uh, we might want to try to uh, um, get uh, something going I know my microphone is a little low when I talk into it from the side actually I think I may have adjusted it a little bit uh, earlier here so I'll leave it right about there hopefully that's a little better uh, anyway uh, okay uh, looking at some of the other ones all right just to kind of give you the lay of the land here though so this valley here is not Haggy I see they had a little earthquake in not Haggy Valley uh, yesterday point two uh, six kilometers down I bet you that's uh, probably up a little higher um, and actually uh, a weight issue uh, things settling because of the weight uh, this area over here is not creaky so this valley not haggy uh, this is uh, southern Meridalia this is Meridalia itself and uh, this is Geldinga Darler and this is where our Ragnar is sitting right in here and uh, I see we had another little little quakey here uh, right on equipment hill or what was left of it point three ten kilometers down happened at uh, 1348 or uh, uh, just about 10 to 2 uh, this afternoon Iceland time and it is 10 kilometers down uh, kind of gives you uh, that idea of what uh, what's going on we've got a few others uh, splattered in between here uh, from yesterday I'm not even going to go through them uh, too much here um, but we do see some new activity and I believe this was from okay and that one too so uh, 1.9 4 kilometers down and uh, looks like most of it is uh, from from yesterday uh, let's see you're not receiving enough uh, video ball are you guys getting buffering uh, are we having some issue with my stream I hope not uh, anyway I'm going to uh, back that out just a little bit and uh, kind of look at it and go okay so most of it is pretty uh, straightforward we have the older stuff here uh, we're not seeing anything new but if we go back to the tremor chart for a second and uh, we wanted to look at that uh, we see that one spike here uh, the fairly tall one and I'm wondering if that is not the one where that collapse happened so um, all right Arizona snowman says good here I had a slight buffer okay yeah I'm just wondering what the heck is going on uh, we're having having issues today no maybe we're not I don't think we are oh I ran right over my break time what the heck nobody told me break oh piggy you dropped the ball you didn't do anything <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go uh get off of here go have a five minute break and, and uh um have some pepsi or something okay so uh it's a bit uh of buffering but not bad all right good um i'm gonna leave it here for right now and i do need to go get that break otherwise i'm going to turn into something evil or something and uh, yeah for those who have joined us if you have not yet hit that like button please consider hitting it it really does help out with uh, what we're doing as far as the uh, trying to build the stream and keep going uh, in life here in YouTube so um, and it does work with the analytics of YouTube 
it really does help promote the video uh, afterwards so please do consider hit, hitting uh, that like button also for those who have uh, not yet subscribed if you haven't done that hit that fox on the screen there hit the subscribe button don't forget to click the bell that way you get notified when the streams come on and remember uh, weekday streams and weekend streams are different times so tomorrow it will be on at a different time again and uh, what uh, piggy calls Papa to time no 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 don't do it don't do it I'm going I'm going I'm gonna take that break all right uh, <laughs> We'll do that real quick. I'm going to go for a break. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. Don't go away. we got more lavely things to come. And, of course, after the break, we'll get into some bacon seeds. And uh, then we'll have a peek at Hawaii. And, and uh, I didn't get anything on Aetna today. I looked for new stuff. Didn't see nothing. So um, maybe we'll, um, we'll work on that a little bit more. Um, and still haven't heard anything else on uh, uh, Volcano, the volcano uh, in Italy. So anyway, um, I am going to go do my thing. I will be back in five minutes. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. Play nice in the lava this time. And nobody throw stuff, especially Kim Roddenbush. Stop it, okay? <laughs> I'll be back.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have the microphone back on. Welcome, everyone. And uh, for those who are just joining, I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And uh, you are watching Cumbre Vieja Volcano in La Palma on the Canary Islands. And uh, it is dumping out a lot of lava right now. It is doing an awesome job. Unfortunately, uh, with all that, lava does come detriment of um, some people are losing their homes and stuff like this. Um, not what we want to see, uh, but there's nothing we can do to stop things. And uh, it is unfortunate and it shall continue uh, till this thing is over. So anyway um it is just after the break so uh and we are on the second hour i did uh, promise that we would get bacon seeds on the screen and uh, i shall do that right now so uh here is uh the first of our lovely little bacon seeds and uh it is an absolutely adorable little feller and yes you may go ah uh, i uh, <laughs> and ooh and whatever else you need to um, this is uh, it is a, a pretty little piglet uh, running around so yeah bacon seeds all the way and uh, definitely an awe moment and uh, it is a beautiful beautiful picture and uh, I hope you guys like it so and of course it's compliments of piggy so uh, thank you, Piggy, for uh, sending that in. And uh, it is uh, a beautiful little feller, so we uh, don't mind that. Now, where is his buddy? Uh, I have his buddy somewhere here, too. Um, there's more to the story, always. So, uh, and uh, Windy C says hi and ah, I like it a lot. Okay, cool. Um... What can uh, go to uh, meditate on lava plumbing? <laughs> uh, anyway, here's the other one, and uh, these two, uh, these two are just just relaxing, getting a little bit of sunshade, and uh, it is uh, it's an awesome awesome set of little piggies. So gotta love it, you guys. Anyway, um, that's our wonderful wonderful uh, bacon seeds for today and i hope you uh, guys enjoyed them guys and gals uh twinny so cute absolutely and uh, again thank you piggy for uh, getting those to us oh no piggies yes uh yes john that's what they are little ones bacon seeds bacon seeds and uh, they are indeed so I did have another video that I kind of want to show you a bit of. And uh, let's see if we can get that on the screen. Uh, we got to turn off the bacon seed and turn on the video and uh, turn it on there. So um, this was actually the one I was looking for earlier here. And uh, what I was interested in was uh, pointing out the... Uh, the amount of uh, material coming out of that vent uh, although this is the one that's producing all the lava right now and that's actually two in here uh, so um, pretty cool anyway um, it is a lot of material coming out of that side hole and uh, not sure if that's all new uh, they did have other views here of uh, where the lava is progressing to and uh, how it is flowing down again this is earlier so we didn't see that second flow coming down uh, here yet uh, so that uh, that came after uh, so this is uh, kind of a prelude to uh, to what was going on and I think we can see the edge of the lava flow uh, yeah right there and uh, that's uh, that's earlier in the day so obviously you've got people observing it up here on the hill and uh, they're paying attention to what uh, what's going on and where it's flowing and we know that it did flow in uh, that direction so um, kind of lets you know what uh, what that looked like 
I just thought this was kind of an awesome shot and uh, we throw that on here just to kind of um, get you uh, going and uh, that's it for that one and uh, we'll move it back to here uh, pretty cool so uh, awesome uh, stuff um, we can see that the uh, the flow here is starting to spread out a little bit as it's starting to get extra arms and legs uh, going over the hill so pretty uh, pretty cool Juliana is in the house welcome back Juliana glad to have you on board Daryl R also here good to have you Daryl uh, uh, Diana uh, yes brilliant shot thank you uh, Paul okay Paul says Dr. Fox this volcano has too many holes we must patch a few and you know what uh, something I was thinking about earlier and this was uh, a few days ago someone was saying well you know why doesn't this thing uh, blow up well it's exactly this we have too many weak spots once that pressure is built up it will turn around and just pop out of one of those new uh, vents it will make new vents if uh, if it can't find a way out of the old ones so um, it's not gonna blow it's just gonna make more holes and uh, this is what we are indeed seeing and uh, I think they need to update the uh, the vent count uh, because what we seen on screen was at least six and uh, the one down the hill that would make seven so somebody's got to do uh, got to use the second hand there to do their counting and uh, hopefully uh, they'll be able to update the maps accordingly I'm seeing a little bit of buffering on my end here and uh, I see my bit rate is uh, going up and down like a yo-yo a um, little faster than it should be at times and not sure why uh, it shouldn't be going up and down usually what it does is it goes down below where it's supposed to be so if you are seeing a little bit of buffering that may be why and I have no idea what's causing it um, but we will continue uh, with our volcano anyway uh, now we did touch on uh, what was going on there in uh, uh, Iceland as well and uh, I think we can uh, pop over to Hawaii real quick and uh, this is what uh, Kilauea looks like today so that is uh, Kilauea or the uh, crater and uh, that picture was at 9 20 a.m. and uh, it was pretty awesome to uh, to see that and uh, if we move over to uh, whoa uh, wrong one here click on the right thing uh, Kilauea go over to the map and uh, we'll uh, pick the other one here get rid of that there we go uh, I'll zoom out a little bit so you can get uh, your orientation uh, this is the big island of Hawaii Maui here and uh, Oahu here and uh, that should help you out and uh, if we uh, sit about here you can kind of see so the big island of Hawaii Kilauea is right there we continue to see the earthquake swarm here um, most of these somewhere around 2 to 2.5 um, and again when we click on it uh, same depth 20.9 miles 33 kilometers down 2.44 for that one and uh, majority of it is all in that same uh, ballpark 20.6 miles down 33 kilometers and uh, 2.21 uh, on that one so it kind of gives you the idea of what's going on there it just continues and uh, if we zoom into this area here where Kilauea actually resides there's the uh, the crater that we just looked at and uh, of course they have the monitoring station or monitoring center uh, right close to it and uh, of course uh, they've got different camera views uh, gas metering as well as GPS and tilt meters uh, you can have a, a perusal of all those things as well as uh, rumble charts or, or uh, seismometers and uh, you can take a look at what's been going on for the last six hours or so um, usually some interesting stuff in there if you look at these uh, spikes and, and 
um, you know, the extra extra noise. You got to wonder what's uh, what's happening and why they're there. So um, you can always correlate uh, those with the uh, the earthquakes if you have that inclination as far as uh, setting times and so on. Anyway, gives you a little bit more of an idea what uh, Kilauea is doing, and uh, we'll put it back on that picture there. And uh, let's pop back over to our uh, volcano in uh, La Palma, and uh, you guys can have a look at that. And I see it is uh, coming up on uh, 3.30 my time, and uh, time to uh, get on with a break right away. And uh, let's see if we go look here. Uh, Mr. Baker, welcome. Uh, let's see. Show the map, uh, activity map, worldwide ma activity map. We'll come back after uh, the break and uh, we will uh, have a look at that. So uh, hopefully uh, that will give you uh, what you need. Um, Paul Zilla is bringing up a bunch of the different links that you can uh, uh, use here. We do have uh, the 3D map of uh, the earthquakes under La Palma. You can have a look at that. You can also take a look at uh, um, the 3D uh, or the other earthquake maps of La Palma. There's two of them. And uh, you also have the option of going to the 3D maps. So uh, lots of stuff to, to peruse. Uh, for Hawaii, of course, you have Hawaii map, and that will bring up the USGS uh, uh, map that we looked at. So all those different things are in there. You guys can have a peruse at uh, all of them for yourselves. We specifically do that um, because it is an open-based concept um, that we share everything with everyone. And, uh, you know, as far as the links are concerned, it's... Um, kind of um, just hey this stuff is out there so why not share it right and uh, that's the thing um, I'm not worried about you know gee somebody else is gonna look at it yeah well I want you to <laughs> you know get yourself a little more educated that's all uh, so by all means uh, it is a wonderful thing to look at anyhow I'm looking at break time so please uh, if you have not yet hit that like button and you're in the stream here and you are enjoying what you're seeing by all means do hit that like button it really does help with the YouTube analytics and uh, would really appreciate it um, I don't ask for anything uh, these uh, streams are not monetized because we do this for an educational basis um, we do have super chats turned on for anyone who wishes to donate that way but uh, nobody is obligated to but I do ask that you hit that uh, darn like button if you're enjoying it also if you have not yet subscribed please consider doing that as well um, always growing the channel so um, the more we get the better off we are and uh, on that note uh, Sherry Lawson Sherry Lawson wow just remember the time what a lavely sight <laughs> hid okay um sherry lawson glad you're here <laughs> and uh, glad you made it okay so on that note i am uh, going to go take that break i just want to kind of flip around yeah they got that going on this one and uh, this one going here and uh, i don't know maybe we will uh, let's see can we leave it there we'll leave it there all right I'm going for my break. I will be back in five minutes, all you good people. Keep smiling. Play nice in the lava. And uh, don't hurt anybody. Don't push anybody off the observatory hills. And that uh, will be good for uh, another five minutes. Don't go away. I will be back.
All right. The question was, what do you call uh, Postal Pat after he loses his job? And somebody said, Pat. And I, I don't know if I, that would be correct. Um, depends on how Pat is feeling at the time. It might be Postal Pat. And uh, here in Canada, Postal, of course, has a whole new meaning, <laughs> as it may have in the States as well. So, uh, Postal Pat, yeah, that's what we're going to call him. And uh, hope he doesn't go postal on us. Um, we heard about that. Anyway, uh, looking at our lavely screen, uh, yeah, here too, Dr. Fox. Yep, exactly. Uh, how does this volcano compare to Kilauea in terms of lava volume? Um, it doesn't, uh, Captain Ron. Um, it's uh, a different different style of volcano. Uh, probably a lot more short lived. Uh, Kilauea is going for years and years and years. Uh, definitely, uh, what has that meaning in the states? Okay. Uh, Kim, thanks. Uh, okay, so, yeah, when we compare the two, um, uh, Cumbre Vieja is, is peanuts when you look at uh, what uh, Kilauea has done in the past, okay? Um, although you give it enough time, if uh, this thing keeps going, it certainly will start to challenge the numbers when you start to look at the, the volumes. Uh, somebody was asking how many acres has it created um, it is about 60 hectares is what uh, uh, people were saying so that will make it somewhere around 120 acres I don't know if that number is accurate accurate I myself have not measured it uh, but we do have the two areas uh, that uh, are being uh, filled there and I'm sure in the very near future, we're going to see more of that filling up. Uh, and they're showing video from earlier today, I guess, uh, on uh, uh, TV La Palma, I guess. Okay, so I want to switch it back to the other one here. Okay, just uh, popped it over there. Uh, Kevin Butcher, uh, longest uh, eruption since. Um, what? Longest eruption since? I have no idea. Uh, Pepe, air, air meter of the lava flow uh, today on the 28th, 11 a.m. comparison uh, to yesterday at 7.30 a.m. Uh, uh, it occupies a total of uh, 1,104 hectares increased uh, plus 5.5 hectares. So um, that's about 10 acres worth. Uh, I think it's about 2.2 uh, acres per hectare, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. And uh, increased it uh, by a bit. So, okay, uh, we'll be... Uh, longest if still going by December um, the longest I thought was uh, 108 days uh, in uh, in here so by the end of December yeah then it will start being the longest we've got uh, 30 uh, 38 days to go roughly so uh, it being the 28th now so if it makes it into the new year, as far as the uh, volcano, then uh, it is uh, uh, being a contender for the longest running uh, volcano on La Palma in recent history. Anyway, uh, long haired lava, welcome. Al Sanchez, welcome. Let's see who else snuck in that I didn't see. Uh, Pepe is here and uh, glad to have you on board captain ron thanks okay uh, Janice karen we got you earlier there and sarah miles is here sarah it's lava it's a lavely time for you 
Uh, let's see. I don't see anyone else that I might have missed. Mr. Baker. Dennis Ray. Uh, I got Anita Assad earlier. Uh, welcome to all of those good people. Anyway, I'm uh, glad to have you all on board here today. And uh, it is uh, a lovely, uh, lovely time, definitely. So um, we did look at some of that stuff already that uh, we covered today. It definitely is uh, showing a lot more flow. And um, not sure how soon or how quickly that material will end up uh, um, being out in the open, if you will, uh, getting down to our uh, shoreline. So obviously with this type of flow, we're going to see a bunch more. Uh, nah, Peter, I don't know if we want to call it a lava tsunami. It's going to be moving an awful slow pace. Tsunamis usually move at uh, faster speeds. And uh, it is um, very, very, uh, uh, <laughs> very, very uh, slow-moving lava wall. Uh, so, but it is a lava wall in a way. It is a tsunami, uh, but a very, very slow one. A long-haired lava, you are welcome. And I'm happy to put little girls to sleep once again <laughs> as they listen to my melodious voice, Sheila and uh, i don't know if you're waving hi or bye uh i think uh, you might be heading out uh take care sheila if you are going and uh, thank you for being here and uh all right just looking at stuff here i gotta get my other stuff on the screen my screen i don't know why it's not going uh, okay yeah the uh la palma tv is is showing the older footage yet and uh, I'm not sure what we can do as far as uh, popping around here for the newer stuff uh, they seem to have changed uh, their streaming times a little bit so um, yeah all all still looking pretty good though and uh, looking at time 344 uh, here means about 15, uh, 15 more minutes or so of, uh, of stream today. So uh, you're drowning. Well, why are you drowning? Get your head out, out of the sink. <laughs> oh boy. Ah. Uh. We have to teach children about nature, absolutely. And you know what, this is a, a good place to do it because it is clean, healthy, and a, a reasonably decent environment. And uh, we do try to uh, teach uh, children all kinds of things. Um, Mohammed Art Dish. Uh, um, none of that stuff in here, okay? So um, you can take your uh, prayers and stuff like that you can keep them for yourself that can be in your bedroom closet somewhere and uh, uh, don't uh, don't do that in here if you wish to take part in uh, um, discussions about the volcano uh, that type of thing you are more than welcome to do so but uh, you keep your religious practices uh, to yourself thank you uh, this is a scientific volcano stream, after all, for education purposes, not for preaching religion. So, uh, oh, come on, uh, can't you give us a Black Friday bonus? Hey, you missed it. Kim, you missed Black Friday. That was uh, two days ago. You weren't here. <laughs> Um, but I am going to have something coming up in the future and uh, in about two weeks, I think. Uh, not this uh, weekend coming up, but the weekend after. I am planning to do uh, the uh, Candy Cane Lane uh, drive. And uh, we will... Uh, no, no, we don't do cybering, um, Sarah. Uh, Candy Cane Lane in two weeks. Oh, sorry, I had to clear my throat there. And so, yeah, in uh, it'll be a road trip. Yes. 
and uh, we will uh, do our thing uh, going through Candy Cane Lane to look at all the Christmas lights. So, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to do it properly, uh, shooting uh, 1080 rather than uh, um, uh, 720. And uh, okay, Kim, uh, I was here. We didn't get uh, get extra stream time. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, bye-bye, Mohammed. Uh, please uh, help yourself out, um, you know, uh, there we go, and uh, it is pretty straightforward, um, it doesn't matter what you say, sir, it's, uh, this is not the stream for that, okay? And if you find yourself to be offensive, I suggest you you t uh, talk it over with your deity and ask them why your deity is allowing you to be so rude to us. Okay? I hope you have a nice day, Muhammad. Anyway, <laughs> some people just don't get it. Yep, the boot is right. And um, it is... You know, if you want, if you want to have a stream for religion, start one yourself. It's so easy to do. You know, get out there and start one. Um, that's all I gotta say. You're more than welcome to have your own stream and preach all you want. And uh, good luck getting people. <laughs> oh man! Sometimes I have to wonder what really goes on, and uh, it is what it is. Uh, yeah. Sherry, you know, like, like I said, I, I don't have any issues, um, with anyone having a religion. That's not the issue here. What I have an issue with is if you want to preach religion, you go from, uh, you know, you go start your own stream and, and do your own thing. Don't come into someone else's stream and think that you can do that. You know, for just it just drives me absolutely crazy thinking that you have the audacity to be so rude to try to dump your garbage into our stream. Okay, that doesn't work. So, yep, he's gone. Anyway, I hope he listened to my words of wisdom. And uh, seriously, um, if you want, yeah, we, we will preach the Sermon of Lava. And yes under under Ragnar uh, 2-3 thou shall not play in the lava okay <laughs> there's your words of wisdom <laughs> oh man uh, thank you piggy I need that ice block cool me down <laughs> oh uh, just you know I, I don't get it I really don't get it, but, uh, you know, hey, Aurelio, welcome, glad to have you on board, uh, it's, it's just, it's crazy sometimes, uh, you know, and, and honestly, I don't think these guys think this through at all, not whatsoever, right, so, we do what we do, and, uh, it's one of those things, shake my head all right anyway let's see what else we got going on here so we still have the lava flow in this one coming down the hill really nicely um this one because of the way the angle is there you can't see the slow flow uh, quite well of course the uh the one on the left hand side um the one that looks like it's starting out skinnier and is a little bit brighter at the top there uh, that one is an, uh, kind of an overflow for the other two on the uh, right side that are coming down the hill. And that whole thing was kind of a um, built up um, a berm of uh, tephra and ash. And uh, I'm surprised that that material hasn't cut through a little bit more yet. But I'm sure if the lava continues to flow that we're going to see some V grooves in there. So um, you're going to see... You know something uh, it's going to cut these in here and uh, you're going to see some uh, big kind of kind of gouges out of there like somebody's taking bites out so uh, 
that's what's going to happen there in the future. Uh, again, just to recap, this is what they were seeing coming down the hill. And uh, of course, uh, that material, if we are looking, it's, it's flowing down this way. Okay, and uh, of course, this is out a little bit further to the north uh, from the main flow. And uh, I actually wanted to go look for that guy on the... Uh, on the 3d map and I think we'll go take a look and I'm not sure um, which one it was here uh, let's get to uh, this because it's a sizable building so we should be able to spot it um, where where the heck is it uh, I'm not sure if it was this guy here um, it might have been this guy here so it was just right on the edge of the lava flow before um, so I'm thinking that's the one that it is uh, we'll go back to that and just have a quick look and uh, yeah I think that might be what it is um, not a hundred percent sure though but uh, could be very very close uh, to that area so gives you a little bit of an idea of what uh, what that stuff is doing and uh, they're zooming in a little bit more and uh, you know you see you see where that lava is coming from but I'm kind of surprised that it's coming all the way around here like that um, but it is still on a downhill slope so gravity will take it and uh, that's how it works and then of course you got that other poor house uh, right here um, it's not going to be there that long uh, when that material above it decides to overflow and come down that hill as well so uh, pretty uh, pretty interesting stuff and uh, let's uh, throw back on some of the other streams here I need more herbal tea I uh, yeah I uh, I don't know I need more Pepsi soon um, still okay though I still have a little bit um, long-haired lava there we go uh, wow 300 likes did we get that high hey right on Kananaskas country welcome for joining us and thank you uh, okay uh, Sandy Bird Dr. Fox I have no idea how it works uh, but do you think we all should have a zoom party for the holidays uh, all of us uh, meet and uh, greet in cyber world oh my god sandy bird i i i'm not a zoom guy and i have no idea and i think that might be trouble <laughs> i'm not um i'm not willing to take that challenge on unfortunately um you know if somebody else does want to uh, by all means but uh i'm i'm not so inclined to to want to do that that's um beyond my abilities or or uh, wants to uh, to do there so um, you know if somebody wants to uh, do something with it you guys could uh, doc piling us in the car for a drive around and look at the candy cane lane sounds like a uh, like a blast to me miss Lobo Bob and yeah I I, I do definitely want to do that and uh, like I said it won't be uh, won't be this Saturday coming up but it will be the uh, uh, next Saturday so two weeks uh, from um, uh, from yesterday basically so um, that will help and um, hopefully uh, uh, you guys will enjoy that like I said I'm gonna be trying something different I'm gonna be working on uh, getting some stuff uh, worked out uh, beforehand and uh, try to uh, work with it uh, Baytown Sam I do zoom with family uh, or more what more than five we get talking over each other yeah uh, Baytown Sam more than five and you get talking over each other and then uh, what if you had 250 in there um, that would be a little bit difficult so um, it's uh, one of those things uh, <laughs> I I don't want to be the organizer of that I'm gonna stay stay away from it uh, chatting is uh, having problems over, over here what 
chat is having problems over there uh, over here okay Juliet I'm sorry um, hopefully you won't have any problems I have zoom but for uh, work and family only though yeah um, I don't have zoom I've never used it I have no idea how it works and uh, it's another format I just can't find time to study and learn and um, I really don't want it <laughs> fault 501 how come you got a fault 501 what the heck is a fault 501 that doesn't make any sense um, yeah I'm looking at my bit rates going out bit rates are good and uh, flow is good the lava is good the lava is hot 1100 degrees C and uh, the other one here yeah everything is still flowing and uh, beautiful uh, day in the neighborhood for uh, that observatory yeah we can look at the observatory it's not uh, that great of a picture from the observatory but um, I did want to kind of slide back on that one and see what sunset looked like um, I think it was uh, not as nice as it could have been but uh, uh, we did have some clouds earlier there and that's I was kind of kind of not wanting to use too much of it but this was somewhere around sunset uh, you can see the uh, the clouds over uh, on the uh, the left hand side here uh, coming in and our volcano is sitting uh, down in underneath here let's see if I move this forward a little bit more time wise if it cleared up yeah a little bit of uh, clear further down you can kind of just see the tip of that volcano right right in there and uh, if we go a little bit further time wise uh, let's see uh, about there just before sunset and then it got, got cloudy again for a while we've seen that moon in there it got cloudy and then uh, the moon kind of the clouds went away a little bit and we see uh, the moon just before it exits and uh, of course uh, well um, down here is where our uh, volcano is our volcano is actually right there uh, the multiple vents and then this is just lighting up because of uh, the other areas and again we're getting clouds in there that's why everything turns grainy um, but if we put it up uh, a little bit further on down the road here um, different times um, hopefully it's going to stay clear and uh, that was from 2049 onward and uh, so far it's been been clear and shiny and uh, yeah uh, that's pretty much uh, straightforward so we're good with what we're seeing I'm assuming you already checked uh, on Iceland to see what's happening today yes we did Sherry um, I'm not sure if you've seen the uh, the uh, Sherry. I'm gonna show you that other video, and uh, uh, we'll get rid of this, and uh, we'll show you this one again. No, not that one. Uh, let's turn that off. Uh, where is my video that I had of the uh, the disruption? Uh, no, wasn't that one. Wasn't this one? wasn't that picture must have been this one uh, let's uh, yeah let's go back on that one and uh, replay it here and see yeah no it wasn't that one either okay what the heck I had it oh no never mind I know where I put it wrong folder so um, yeah we wanted to show you this one there you go Sherry watch that that's dropping into Ragnar. And, uh, I will play that again. Just so you can see it uh, again. And, um, oh, hang on, what happened? Where am I? Why am I in the wrong place? Have I lost this thing? Yeah, no, I didn't lose it. There we go. Play it again. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that did show you what 
what uh, dropped in there and how much heat is still inside that lab. You know, this thing has been inactive for who knows how long already and you still have that much uh, heat in there. And uh, that kind of uh, makes you wonder what's going on. Um, well, still baked potato inside. Uh, you, you bet. You can do more than baked potatoes there. Um, <laughs> you can probably heat your house for the next 50 years and uh, not lose any heat over it. So anyway, I'll do it one more time just so uh, you have that because it is such a short clip. And, uh, there it goes. And that chunk of material that fell in, that's about the size of a three-story apartment block. And, uh, yeah, uh, just a, a tiny bit of lava. Anyway, we'll uh, pop it back over to uh, Cumbre Vieja. So, um, the sound is really interesting, too. Uh, Diana, yeah, you bet. Uh, you could uh, see the cauldron uh, cool uh, one dock. Yes, um, you could definitely see what was way down inside. But you also noticed there was a streak of lava inside there already kind of dribbling down uh, when we when they first got over it. So it, it's telling you that there is still a lot of heat inside that volcano. And uh, wow, Tina Sassy throws in a $5 super chat. Thank you for the lavaly show, Dr. Fox 2000. Good job mods and uh, XX Lava or Lavaly chat guys and gals uh, X uh, uh, take care beautiful people oink and uh, see you all tomorrow uh, night bye and uh, thank you uh, Tina Sassy really do appreciate that five uh, pound super chat uh, first super chat of the night so uh, awesome and uh, it is uh, basically it is time to shut down anyway and uh, I do appreciate each and every one of you being here today. Uh, for those uh, who uh, have not yet hit that uh, a like button and you like what you've seen so far and you want to see more of these things, please do hit that like button. Also, if you uh, have not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. That way you get notified when the next streams are on and you can enjoy a lot more of this uh, lavaly stuff that we are presenting. Um, I know I'm the only show on here that is actually narrating the volcanoes uh, in this sense and this open format. I know others have 24-7 streams as well as short streams, but I don't believe anyone else is out there doing the narration as we do it on this stream. And of course, here we have the best lava family that we could absolutely get. So... Thank you, each and every one of you, for being here today. And uh, really, really do enjoy it, uh, having uh, you guys as an audience. Uh, because, after all, it wouldn't be a stream if it wasn't for you. So, all of you, pat yourselves on the back. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for uh, the moderators for being here. You guys are awesome. Uh, thanks for uh, definitely helping out. And... Uh, Thank you uh, for my uh, super chat there, uh, Tina Sassy. I uh, really do appreciate the, uh, uh, the five pound uh, super chat. Uh, pays the light bill anyway. So, and uh, for those others who don't know, uh, the channel or the streams are not monetized because they are for educational purposes, right? So um we leave it that way and if somebody wants to use a bit of my footage or something or uh, some other footage i'm really not going to jump up and down in any way shape or form uh, because if we all uh, work together we can all make things happy uh okay on that note so i thank the super chatter i thank uh, our wonderful mods i thank our wonderful people i thank my the uh, wonderful host thank you me <laughs> No, you guys are doing a good job at that already. So um, I don't need to do that. Uh, and really, uh, I do appreciate uh, having all of you here. And uh, on that friendly note, I'm going to wish you all a very good evening. Uh, take care. Uh, all the best to all of you. 
and please make sure you tell your loved ones that you love them tonight for tomorrow is never promised i'm your host dr fox 2000 have a good night everyone and we'll see you tomorrow bye for now Oink, 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 oink. Don't forget to say oink. <laughs>